Welcome to Eve Tranquility and Eve Singularity. So, I just remembered CCP had done something about IG, ICG skins or IGC skins. Uh, and I wondered if they had an article about it. So, I went out and checked it. And sure enough, they have the skin here, kind of, maybe. Um, they've got a new background that's interesting and it kind of, it's got a little skill skill milestone stuff in there kind of hinting at something uh they uh they say they're introducing a mining mission this first half of 2022 so, so hopefully that's promising that they're gonna continue continue um but unfortunately it looks like the first step in the longer plan to iterate on this fundamental cycles is not going to be uh, this upcoming quadrant which they said they would be uh, maybe this upcoming quadrant is the first step and they're just gonna this is what they're working on it during this quadrant i don't know um this is interesting um, I don't think I found anything on the skins, so I'll focus on the skins first and go from there. So autopiloting and singularity, and here we go. So my my graphics quality is now customized. It's got medium shader, so what you'll be seeing is medium shader. Um, it it honestly it doesn't look too bad I, I like the medium shader it's not going to burn out my computer it's a clunky computer it's not high grade um, i wouldn't know what i'd use this for because i use skins to tell my uh my care my clients apart especially when i'm mining but if i'm using medium skin it's kind of hard to tell uh it's very subtle, <laughs> to say the least. The low quality shader, um, shader, uh, shader quality, I think, is the name of the setting. And yeah, it uh, it definitely helps when you're low quality because it's, the colors are very stark. Uh, you don't have very many options, but it's kind of cool. Um, let us go into low graphics, of course, because I've been doing that for the last little time. I'm just going to shift the... I won't change the optimized. I basically customize this memory. I do memory. Um, and then I add, enable GPU and I make uh, shader quality uh, medium. And I click off the low quality character setting. And yeah, that's the three changes I do. Um, Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird getting used to the button for the Incom right there instead of going into items. And it's kind of a grayish color. It's interesting. It's not white. It's gray. It's kind of neat. Um, of course, if you go high quality. Now, I don't really like anti-aliasing. I'm pretty sure it burns the hell on my computer. But maybe I'm just superstitious. Who knows, right? So, as you can see, a lot more detail, uh, a, more character to it, a little bit more dirty, so to speak, uh, than the medium shader. But I am completely happy uh, with the customized setting I've gotten for myself. I wish I could share settings; they would be really helpful. But hopefully, I won't be changing my computer anytime soon or moving the steam folder anytime soon that'd be great oh and uh, low quality i don't know which to press but whatever okay so that was this i don't think there's anything else in the uh the eve store that's new besides uh that igc i like the igc it's fun i just i just honestly wouldn't find a use for it um Of course, I already showcased the uh, Headhunter and uh, um, Malagrin. 
Oh yeah, that's that. Uh, let's hop on to this article here and check it out because it's fascinating. Uh, this is kind of like... Allow me to introduce my... It sounds very much... Have you ever played uh, uh, Anno 2022 and Anno the, the, those games? Sounds very much like that, doesn't it? Doesn't, it's pretty funny. Um, I wonder if they got the voice actor from that. Okay, so um, this is kind of interesting that they brought, You've handled yourself remarkably. Uh, um, animations here. Uh, Ashtarothy was talking about that. The more mobile expressions. It's kind of neat. Um, this I want to check out. This is really cool, especially here. Uh, the uh, skill plans from the clipboard and fittings required uh, not only can you uh, what I've been doing is putting the fitting into the description as a link you know of the ship so I go what was I planning on using with this skill queue and of course it'll be in the skill description I'll be oh okay I can click that and remember what the hell the skill plan was for that I made um, but now you can apparently drag it into the skill queue somehow the fitting and it'll populate with the skills instead of me doing it manually. And this is going to be really helpful too. So I'm going to test right now. Derp. This is Tranquility. Singularity. So... I think I've already got all these. But I'm going to... This was my uh, skill cube. I... What I would do was testing skill cues is if I had a skill queue, I didn't want to forget. I just, I just, Approaching Stargate. this is my, uh, the, the skill queue I had for Seneche on Tranquility. And of course I ripped it out and I didn't want to lose it just in case I wanted to, ch well, no, whatever. I like documentation. Um, so we'll see if we can actually make a skill queue. Uh, the board test. Uh, my old ability Q. All right, here we go. I'm going to now. When you do this, um, what I did was I just dragged, I, I dragged it into uh, a notepad. And then I put the rank, and that's important. And you have to have the numerical, uh, Roman numerical. Um, and then you just copy, just like that. And that should, theoretically, be able to, where the, where's the option to paste? Wait, did I read it wrong? Uh, um, they word these so stupidly. And you're like, I think I know what you're saying, but it's like inconceivable. It's inconceivable. <laughs> Don't really think you know what. In addition, we'll be able to import and export skill plans to and from the clipboard. Right. So. Uh, no, damn it. Um, you can't do that, but you can, I think, Document I think you have to have the info page. You can't just requested. go like that. I wonder if I can paste. Document no, I can't. Requested. Bloody hell. But I can do this, of course. All right, now, see if I can export it. It might be something they're working on. But we're going to save it. Because I can't see. Okay, so uh, permanent remove, share plan, save a copy, edit. I don't see. Is it here? No, I don't see export. <sighs> Add skills listed in clipboard to end of queue.
Yeah. I still got that. That's how I did it. What the hell are they talking about? I don't see any option to do what they think they're talking about. We'll be able to import and export skill, not the queue, but the skill plants. It would be freaking nice if we were able to export the skill queue. Well, hopefully that'll be in tandem, but you know CCP, the right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing. Um, corporation skill plans are coming in December, so maybe... Okay, so I think they're still working on it, and this is for December. Uh, this is for December, and this is for November, right? So... Let's go mark two. All right, mark two. So, how do I do that? It into a skill plan to automatically populate it. Got it. All right, here we go. Your plan. Uh, open this up. Okay, uh, that. So. Uh -huh. Ooh. 360 days. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now, did they get the most important bit? Because, you know, remember. Did they? This is this is this is the critical thing. You are not going to be able to jump at all if they don't have. Oh wait, wait! Jump drive calibration jump. Conserve. Uh, they might. God, I hate this. Don't you hate it that we can't minimize this? They are such morons. They are. They really are. I mean, it's not as bad as what, you know, have you heard about the horrible the Ashtarothi mentioned it on Twitter recently about the, what is it, open world or something with that stupid MMO fantasy thing? And you could, uh, hackers can apply HTML to the, <laughs> this, like, Jesus. What's next, JavaScript? All right. So it's it's not on a level of, of, of war gambling or, or open world or the cluster F that is Blizzard right now, but Jesus CCP, come on. And and the and the alphabetical this way. It's like, are you make? Do you like people scrolling? It's like, do you are you introducing a new scroll technology with your mind? Uh, it just blows me away. Anyways. Um, jump drive operation. Uh, jump fuel conservation. So it's just got jump drive operation. That's it. But doesn't have jump drive calibration. Uh, we, we're looking for jump drive calibration because that's super freaking important. So yeah, okay. That's cool. Yeah, um, don't leave home without level 4 at least. Level 5, ideally. That's your main requirement. But it seems like everything's kosher. That's really cool. And of course, um, like I said, do not forget to put this in here. Because otherwise you're like... What's this skill plan for? <laughs> you could put it in here, but but still, it's it's handy. Put it in the description too. So that's 
done. And sometimes it glitches out. Be patient. Just click it again. Don't freak out and go on a Steam and make a bad review. Just freaking... Just, it's CCP. It's a computer. Just, just troubleshoot it. All right. Clipboard test. Can I right click? No. Okay. Edit. I can't. So yeah, it's it's definitely not. You can't export it yet. Or you know, it'd be nice to export this. Really, really, really would. Um. And it would be nice because you could you could sit. Which this would be awesome. And and this is no way what they said. Absolutely no way what they said. Um. But here's what I'm thinking. If you, if they allow you to, because it's, you know, why wouldn't they add it to the training queue too? You know, it's, it's they made it part of the same window. You know, I wish they had part of the freaking character window instead, but they had it here. So hopefully that'll be like, you know, copy to, you know, just like they have for the freaking multi-buy, right? Uh, so yeah, I mean, hopefully we can export it and if we can import we can go our current skill clue that we do, we were just doing on the fly go oh i want to do something else but i want to remember what i had so i'm just going to export go in here import save awesome and you could just they when you edit a scope like when you edit a skill sorry i'll just i'll just whatever uh go in here when you edit it right and you go skill queue current skill queue uh but i'm previous skill queue uh previous skill queue right and then you like save that you know would it be great if you could go into it and go oh yeah i want to train another thing and and i'm a, i'm done with this skill queue paste what you've exported from the skill queue save it or you know replace it or whatever what they one assumes they're going to have it just like this, but with an added export as well. You know, clear, replace, uh, um, personal plan with skills listed in clipboard, and then export. Clipboard, that would be great for both. So you could totally not have to do it freaking manually. That would be awesome. But of course, don't expect that. It's, it's not like they hinted at it here so don't take my word for it and definitely don't take their word for it yeah so yeah that's kind of cool i like the the fitting thing but uh, the corp corporate skill plans aren't coded yet nor are the import export that'd be nice <sighs> yeah i know baby steps and it's been how it's been almost two decades. Come on, guys. Yeah. Uh, the opportunities. <laughs> Lol. Have you ever tried the opportunities? They're horrendous. If you try to like, oh, I don't like that one. Can I ignore it? You basically break the system. So I, I'm, I know the testing phase. Yeah. Another guinea pig, pig for us. Thanks, buds. Um, yeah, I feel sorry for the noobs. You know. Um, Yeah, this would be interesting, but it'd be even more interesting if they actually got around to fixing the broken corporate infrastructure since the release. That's beta level, so please. And I don't, I don't really. It's just. Yeah. yeah As the final career video. Great. I, I, I'm not going to get into it here. I don't want to get my hopes up. It would just be a... <laughs> just be a... Yeah, thing for my wife to tease me about. Anyways, done.